is Thompson Pipeline version 1.2 with an additional feature for an underwater pump. The underwater pump feature will be explained with a practical application, which makes this also a great training video to ensure that your estimate captures shallow water beds. The new feature allows to directly enter the underwater pump location. We'll start with opening a PNP project file, which we already populated for this tutorial. On the pump step, you can find that a cutter suction dredge is selected with an underwater pump and a discharge pump. On the pipeline tab, you can find a new section at the bottom for the underwater pump. This new feature is helpful when also dredging on shallow water depths, where the vacuum of the underwater pump could limit the production. Tick the box to include the underwater pump and enter the ladder length, which in this example we will set at 30 meters with the location of the underwater pump axle at 20 meters. In this case, the underwater pump is located at two-thirds on the lower side of the cutter ladder. The last value to enter is the hinge above the water line, which in this case is one meter. When the include underwater pump box is ticked, the water line pump axle depth is overwritten and becomes gray. In this example, the water depth is set at 10 meters and on the diagrams tab, the vacuum production parabolas are shown for a vacuum range of 60 to 80 kPa. Now we can calculate the production by clicking on the calculator button. The vacuum parabola does not limit the production at 10 meters water depth, but the pump power limits the production as the discharge pipeline is relatively long. A production level of 600 cube meters per hour is found. Now back to the pipeline tab. Let's change the water depth from 10 meters to 2 meters. Click on the calculating button or press F9. The vacuum parabolas for 60 to 80 kPa move to the left. And if 70 kPa is a limiting vacuum, the production level is less than 400 cm per hour, which is 30% lower than the production level at 10 meters water depth. Although the long discharge pipeline limits the production in the lower soil layers, the vacuum at the underwater pump significantly limits the production in the top soil layers. With this new feature, it becomes easy to check all water depths as per the cut plan. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you find this new underwater pump feature convenient.